Now that my wife has upgraded to that GMK Tech computer that we reviewed a few weeks ago, today I finally get to go back into this MacBook Pro 2015 entry level and upgrade it to the latest open core and the latest Sequoia from Apple 15.4.1. What's the process and how well does it work? This is what's next. All right, I am excited. I get to use my screen capture card today. Let's first take a look to see what needs to be updated on this MacBook Pro 2015. Uh, it's taking a few moments for it to get the latest stuff. There we go. So Mac OS Sequoia 15.4.1 and the Pro Video formats. And you're gonna see that this current Mac is running Sequoia 15.3. So we're already running Sequoia on this, but not the latest version. One other thing that I wanted to point out, you're going to notice that my automatic updates are turned off. That is recommended by OpenCore not to leave those on. So uh, the next step is going to be, let's go and update our OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Currently I'm running 2.20, but the most current version is 2.3.2. .2. So I never rush to get this stuff updated. I always wait. And we're about ready to get the installer done here. So there is the latest version is now installed. And as usual, it's going to ask about building the latest version of OpenCore and then installing that into the EFI partition, which happens to be this one terabyte drive. There is the partition around 209 megabytes. This just takes a few moments to get it updated and then it's going to ask us to update the root patches and that is all the stuff that makes the system work right all the drivers that are missing with the operating system that you're currently running so let's get that done all right root patching is finishing up it takes a few moments up oh, we're done and it's just going to ask us to reboot to get those patches running all right our next step is to return back to system settings once that loads, we're going to go and select Software Update Available. Now remember, these steps are for a system that's already been updated using OpenCore. And we're already running Sequoia, so all I have to do now is click the Update Now. We have our EULA, we're going to agree to it, and we're going to start downloading the update. Now, one of the things is that OpenCore is running in the background, and it's going to notice that we're updating. We're downloading the update and it needs to prep. And there we go. OpenCore Legacy Patcher detected Mac OS being updated and it wants to prep the system. Click OK. We're going to get a Metalib build. And I'm going to let this just run for a while. Uh, honestly, I panic every time this happens because it just seems to like freeze. And it's like, oh crap, what's, what's going on? Give it a few moments, it will finish, and then once it does, there we go, we're back to downloading, and it was downloading this whole time. Let's download and do all the reboots and come back to see how well this works. All right, one thing I wanted to do as it's continuing to download, looks like we have about two minutes left, is I started the clock and we're showing around 7.24, uh, a.m. or 10.24 a.m. my time at least and so this will give us an idea about like how long is this process going to take all right it's gone through it's done all the processing it is now 10.37 and we're about ready to restart the Mac all right we have entered our password it's saying that our software update is now complete We'll go ahead and click the continue button. You're going to notice that it's a little slow. Uh, that's, begin, that's because the drivers haven't been installed yet. Uh, we have now gone up to 1054 is our time. There's our open core legacy patcher telling us that we have to install our drivers. It's going to do the root patching. So let's get that started. Okay, root patching is almost done. I did want to call out this little prompt here, system extension. I, I, it's about the graphics driver. I just click OK. 
root patching is coming to an end. There is our prompt to reboot the Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then click restart. We've rebooted. All of our drivers are loaded, so things are functioning far better than they were before. We're going to go into software update from system settings and you'll notice that Sequoia 15.4.1 is installed, but you're going to notice down here I'm going to go ahead and look at the automatic updates and you're going to notice that all the boxes are ticked. OpenCore Legacy does not recommend to have those on, so I'm going to make certain that, uh, and I forgot to turn off security responses, I'm turning those off. All right, next, let's do some testing. All right, first, <laughs> we're using iMovie, of all things. This is just a simple 720p little video that I created for this test. You could do 1080, it's definitely slower, but I really just wanted to make certain that, let's say the exporting is working. I have the quality set to high, 720p, so let's go ahead and click next. I'm gonna save this to the desktop, and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna see here with the export time, it's saying it's just gonna take a couple seconds and it's zipping along pretty good, so I'm gonna call that a win. That seems to work good. All right, here we're in Pages, and I'm launching a brand new uh, template. And I'm gonna move this picture here, and uh, something's happened here. It's getting a little slow. Uh, okay, eventually it does move. So with productivity apps, I think once things load into memory and it gets going, yeah, okay. There, I, I'm able to move things around pretty good. So that's, uh, I'm gonna say that that is a win for pages running the latest Sequoia on this little MacBook. All right, next, Geekbench. Got to always run Geekbench. This has been running for a while, so all of the background tasks should be done. And I did restart the computer for this, so let's see what our score is going to be. There we go. Single core, 1069, and our multi-core is 3702. That's pretty respectable for a 10 year old laptop. I'm gonna call that a win. Let's move on to doing some web browsing. Here we go, NASA. Now I've been to this page, but I'm gonna go ahead and select another one just to see how fast. And there you go, that's just over Wi-Fi by the way. And that loads pretty quick. Next, Classic Cube, one of the games that I'm now testing. I'm going to go and expand this to full screen here. And we're back to playing again. And you're going to notice that we're running at about 89 frames per second. I'm going to call that pretty good. Looks like 89, 90. All right, our final test, Sour Broughton, this lower end 3D game. Seems to be running pretty good. You're gonna notice in the lower right, frames per second, on 180, 190. Pretty respectable for this older computer. I think retro games would be fine in Sequoia on this MacBook. All right, well, that's my look at the latest OpenCore Legacy Patcher on this MacBook Pro 2015, running the latest version of Sequoia. Let's send it back to the studio for my final thoughts. Well, I'm not sure what your thoughts are on this device, but I think it's one of Apple's best laptops, the MacBook Pro 2015, love it. And installing OpenCore Legacy Patcher definitely will breathe life into its continued use. With Sequoia installed, you can still accomplish many basic tasks like accessing the web, getting email and watching videos, and even playing some older games. But if you're expecting to install Sequoia to run recent productivity apps like Adobe or games, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. In short, the OpenCore team has made great strides, letting us keep our old Macs running. So kudos to them. So if you have one of these lying around, you might want to give OpenCore a try on one of the MacBook Pros. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe and bell notification icons as I have other fun computer related videos coming soon. If you wanna watch more, feel free to select one of my other videos either here 
or here. And until next time, I'll see you again for another episode of Hey, What's Next? <laughs>